M0FXP, welcome back to the channel. Aliens HA1G programming software. So you get the link for this just here on the left hand side. Click this and it will download. Now hopefully you've got yourself a cable. I'll just show you mine. So this is what the cable looks like. It screws to the side of the radio. I always get one when I buy a radio. So on the side of your radio, just turn it round, undo that screw you've got there. It is a bit tight, but just take that off and then the plastic cover comes off and then you get the cable and it goes in, that's all upside down I would say, like that, just sort of slip it in and do the screw up. I'll throw my hands in the way, but anyway, get it in there, make sure it's flat and flush. Screws up there. Looking good. Plug the other end into your PC. You should hear your PC make a noise when you do that. So mine's plugged in and if we right click on our Windows Square, right click Device Manager, we should be able to see our port up here. Go to port, double click and there it is there, USB Reader COM2. So that's, we know we're connected. Okay, then to download the software, just click the link that I provide in the description. There's no firmware there, there's only software, that's what I'm seeing. Because there is a firmware out there that you can add that allows you to transmit basically on VHF and UHF. So, but that's not what we're doing now, we're just doing normal programming. So double click Retivis CPS, now you could extract this to a folder somewhere. Um, but look, I'm using the top one, Retivist CPS XE. The bottom one is called Factory XE. I'm not sure what that one does. So here we are with the software, which we've opened. Let's just get the full screen here. Move my radio over. And then we'll see if, if we can find the COM, which is COM2. So we'll go device across we're looking for com at the moment and we click this thing here read device when you go to read device then we do com2 and then we have to tell it what radio we've got ha1g click ok Ta -da! and now what's it say here host read all data so you can see that the screen on my radio Got that window on it now and it's flashing away in green. This is a, I haven't added or changed anything as far as I remember. Now remember this is, yeah it looks like it's read it all. This is a GMRS radio, it's, you know, so it's going to tick slightly differently than what you're used to. Let's go to the, v up here, we'll start off with the VFO A and B and I'll get, make sure my favourites are in there. So VFO A. I'm going to click here, I'm going to change that to, I know it's outside of what it allows to transmit, but it's what I like to listen to, 145.750 is a local repeater, uh, there you go, scrambler vox, oh, we can select power, I'll leave it as high, bandwidth, 180 timeout, let's go a bit longer, Auto scan, so that's that one done. Then, um, oh, stay on zone. There are different zones here as well, by the way. Look, you've got z three zones, so we could sort of like go new zone and say zone three. Let's um, see if we can change the zone name. Mm. Oh, maybe. Let's, I'm just going to put in here PMR. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to change the channels, although it looks like, yeah, when I click GMRS01, well, that's what it showed anyway. So, back to the zone that we've named. I'm interested to know if it actually sends that name to the radio. So, back to VFOA, and 145, yeah, we've done that one. And on VFOB, I'm going to put in my node, which is 
because I'm in the UK, you see, so that's why I'm just putting in stuff that I can listen to. 434.55. So it looks like it does allow me to change it in the VFO. I know I can't transmit, and it's going to be 77. Yeah, just double checking that I chose 77. Yeah, okay. Time out. And then I'm going to send that to the radio. And it's COM2. Click OK. See what it says. Yes. Okay, and it's writing now, as you can see. Oh, well, it says that it, it didn't fully write it, so we try again. Let's uh, cancel. COM2, click OK, yes. All right, that seemed like it was better. We've got the, you can see the screen on the radio. Ah, errors. Hmm, maybe it's because I put in those naughty frequencies, you never know. So let's have a quick look at the zone. We'll go to go menu. Zone. Oh, it's in there. So it did work. It gave me an error, but it did actually work. So it looks like there's a bug. But at least it's working. So let's go to the PMR. And then we've got channels here. Right, we'll keep clicking around. So we've got key settings, and you can set, I've set two of mine to radio. But you've got a long list, inverse frequency, talk around, analog monitor, zone plus and minus, squelch. Zone plus and minus seems like a good one to use. We've got radio there as well. Analog monitor, is that like the squelch off? We've got scan, or oh, power switch as well. That's on your side keys. You've got those options. Emergency settings. Full settings here. So password. Band chosen, B and A. Power off. TX beep. Key beep, voice prompt. Oh, let's do voice prompt. I haven't heard that. Let's see if that works. Uh, battery save, battery delay, mic gain, channel display is frequency at the moment. You can change that to name and channel. Backlight always on. Current NOA channel, frequency step. So all the settings that you'd want to do, including Roger Beep if you like that. Let's keep going down. Let's start looking at some of these channels. So you can see, you can view all the channels. See these ones, they're just marked as channels. So let's just put one in again, 434.550. I'm not sure if it will change the name, 434.550. Let's change the name, see what it does. Just call it Hubnet, H-U-B-N-E-T. And that was, yeah, channel 31. We can actually go save as well. Save that just to my documents for now. And of course you can bring in, you know, you can open, you go file open. So let's uh, write that to the radio. Click OK. We'll probably get the error. Got the error, but it seems to have worked. Let's just go menu, have a quick look at the channel. I'm just interested to know when I go to, if you keep going down, you get to channels. No, it hasn't changed the name. But I've been told that you can change the name using the radio, but the keypad, yeah. <laughs> doesn't have the numerics on there, you've got to use the manual. I'm going to make a separate video showing that more close up. Otherwise, you can change the channel, the tone, all that kind of stuff. You've got DTMF settings here. 
scan settings, DTMF settings, cool. DTMF list, if you need that. And don't forget, with DMRS, you can use repeaters, channels, here's a repeater, and of course, yeah, there's dedicated repeaters. I recommend you look up the the website called My GMRS because there's loads, all the repeaters are there and there's loads of how-tos and a lot of people linking into that. I recommend you definitely do that and I'll put all the links in the description as well. Language, Chinese or English, window, HA1, Windows, what's that? Not really sure what that does. Activate. Okay, mm, I'm not going to guess what that is. Help. Just says Retivis. Edit, device, read and write, file, save. So I think that's about it for now. I mean, I, I wouldn't be changing much here in the UK because... But in the USA, you might want to tweak it, but you've got your GMRS channels. Some, as you know, have, have different power levels. To get a GMRS license is $35 for 10 years. You are allowed to let your family relatives use your, your radios, wherever they are. And you can get the FRS radios, which is like the half watt version. And there are GMRS, as we said earlier, repeaters. And they're nice, they're good solid devices as far as I can see. And if you look at the shop here that my GMS has got, you're spoiled for choice really. And they, it looks like very nice equipment as well. We just choose this one. This is a nice looking one, isn't it? The Wushan one. Different color models. Yeah, it's a nice looking set. And if you like playing walkie talkie, you don't want to take that test you know then um why not it's it's hobby radio you don't have to have a ham radio license to enjoy hobby radio so thanks for watching so far just tinkering around and um if i find out how to get the firmware if someone could send me the firmware that allows me to hold the lock button and type in one two three four five six please send it me to m 0 fxb outlook outlook.com m 0 fxb outlook.com otherwise having fun playing with this radio seven free